Let's get started creating our first Git repository. In a terminal, create a new directory to store your repository and navigate to it. Now we're ready to run our first Git command, git init. Git init will initialize our repository so we can get started. Now we have an empty Git repository. Before we go any further, let's set our username and email address because Everything we do in Git is going to be tracked to our identity. To make changes to our configuration in Git, we use the git config command. Configuration changes can be made for an individual repository or globally for all repositories. Because we want to use the same email address and username across our repositories, we'll set these to global. The proper name we are setting is user.name, and then you'll set it to the value of your name. Great. Now we'll do the same thing for our email. We can view the value of all of our git configurations, local or global, by using the git config list command. And here, we can validate that our email and name have been set. Another common command we will use when dealing with git is git status. This will tell us the status of our repository. This tells us that we're on the master branch which is the main branch, and we haven't yet made any commits. It also tells us that no changes have been made to any of the files in the directory that have not yet been committed. To finish up our creation of a repository, we'll want to add a readme file. A readme file is just a text file that provides useful information about your repository. I'll call our readme file readme.md. By default, Git won't version control every file on a directory, so we have to add it first to let Git know to keep track of it. And finally, we'll run the git commit command to lock in our changes. The git commit command requires a message describing what was done in this last set of changes. So the command becomes git commit dash m followed by your message. And now we've successfully created our git repository we can check its status one more time with git status. Be cautious because git is case sensitive, so I made a mistake there. The output of the git status command says we have nothing to commit and a clean working tree. This means that all the files in our git repository are being tracked and in a good state inside git. So now we have successfully created our first git repository. Thank you for watching.